We've saved, obviously, the most important story for last, and nothing screams mm. gravitas like the Commonwealth Games. Yes, it is that time of the quadrennial again. As Australia prepares to head off to the Commonwealth Games later next month, the official uniform has been unveiled for the Australian squad. Boat shoes have been replaced. But they've been replaced by something equally waspy of RM Williams boots. The head of product development at RM Williams said, our brief this time was to elevate the uniform for the international stage and create something that will evoke pride in our athletes. So they had boat shoes when it was at the Gold Coast, but now that we're going overseas to the home counties, then suddenly, oh, no, we better dress up for her match. We better, better chuck on the RM. This is offensive to the Gold Coast, isn't it? 100%. Like, they've just got the... No, they're not worried because you've got brown paper bag stuff with cash as part of the uniform as well. <laughs> white shoes anyway. <laughs> but also, like, it's, it's actually... The worst thing about the uniform is it's actually quite tasteful. Like, it's actually mm. quite nice. Like, it's almost not like a unit. It's just clothes. Yeah, <laughs> but there's anyway. another big problem, though. OK, Todd, 30 seconds. Blame somebody. Go. I just want to blame the, the organisers here because there's no carrot and stick. You need to give some incentive for the athletes. If you're going to give them Iron Williams boots, where's the incentive to perform? We won't win a medal over there. If they'd said, mm. here's a pair of thongs. Yes. You're off to Manchester or wherever they are. Yep. If you win a medal, you get your Iron Williams boots. Yep. If you win a gold medal, get your moleskin jacket as well. Oh, I there like that. The full kit. How are we going to win a medal? They're already, they've already yeah, got what got they it, wanted. They've all got their gold medals. They probably, they probably won't even make it to the Games. They'll probably just bugger off. They'll be, <laughs> to the Gold Coast. They'll be, <laughs> they'll be seeking asylum in New Zealand. Um, Darren Barnett, 30 seconds. Who do we blame for this fiasco? Well, I think we blame the right because boat shoes clearly were a renowned costume for... Australia, and yeah. therefore... And the right. Having, I mean, Clive Palmer would have... RM Williams, it. all they're doing is pushing their own barrow, promoting their own products, those being the boots they're famous for. Yeah. It's so selfish. And who are they really? They're South Australian free settlers who think they're better than us. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know, apparently... Like, and this, I don't know if this is the most... No penal colony. <laughs> That's what happens. The most condescending thing I've ever heard in my life. But someone said, oh, no, for a lot of these athletes, this is going to be the first time they've worn a pair of RM boots. Mm. And it was. <laughs> what are we paying these guys? I don't yeah. know. I mean, you know. I mean, I know technically it's meant to be amateur. But that's the thing. It's, it's, not, getting it's top, you know? not always top-tier sports. You've got... Ten pin bowling. Hang on a minute. Are you saying? Others, I'm not saying anything. Are you saying, Darren, oh. that the Commonwealth Games <laughs> is not top tier athletic competition? I'm saying that there are some sports that are higher profile than others. Ooh. Swimmers, athletes, are quite well known. But some of the sports, there's probably not a lot of money kicking around. Mm. So, so they've got that their would RM. be your first pair of RM Williams. They're doing it for the love of sport, Joe. Well, I, I want to know how RM Williams got away with only giving them boat shoes last time and not giving him a pair of RMs, right? Yeah, should have just given him. If I was competing four years ago and not this, this I'd be feeling hard done by. I didn't get my RMs. Yeah, so, sorry, we're all out of RMs, but here's a pair of Dunlop volleys. <laughs> <laughs>